Hello guys and welcome to my channel. This is Sammy from Sanomark Heavy Industry. My purpose is to help you handle equipment failure as possible as you can. Today I'm going to talk about the fuel solenoid valve for the engine of the Sanomark motor grader. Alright, let's check it out. We may meet start failure due to fuel solenoid valve problem. For example, you may hear the start bottle running, but the engine failed to start when you switch the key. After tried several times, the engine still not work. In such case, we need to check whether fuel solenoid valve worked properly or not. Look at here. This is the engine fuel solenoid valve which usually mounted beside fuel ejection pump. Its function is to adjust fuel supply gear position inside the fuel ejection pump by pushing or pulling valve stem with magnetic strength from solenoid valve coil when the current is switched on or off. As we know, the fuel solenoid valve is connected by three wires with different color. You can see this one is connected by red, white, and black wires. The red wire is for holding coil. The white wire is for pulling coil, and the black wire is the negative pole of the two coils. Let me tell you something about normal working condition of fuel solenoid valve. It would pull up when we start the engine. If the valve rod still keep up after we switch the key to power on position, it means the start electronic system is working properly. We have to find other problems such as fuel supply system. The failure of fuel solenoid valve can be identified as two types. First type is valve can be pulled up after started, but the rod cannot keep up after switch the key to power on position. It means problem happened in holding coil or related wire. Then we will inspect as following steps. Firstly, we need to check the plaques of solenoid valve is connected well. Confirm no losing wires. Then switch the key to power on position. Disconnect the wire connecting plugs. Test if power supply is normal by using multimeter. Look at this red wire. We can identify the damage come from the holding coil after confirming wire connected and the power normally supplied from this red wire. Then we have to replace the solenoid valve. In case we find no power supply in holding coil, we need to find here the electronic control box. Check the 10 amperes fuse, which is controlling the holding coil and the case relay. If fuse is in good condition, we could test the power supply of the fuse with the multimeter. If no power supply, then check the number 13 wire line condition which connecting control box to solenoid valve. Now we will talk about the K3 relay, which controlled holding coil, working lamps, wiper, and electronic fan. In case above mentioned electronics working well, then no damage from relay. But if above mentioned ones not working well, while other electronics are working well, then we need to replace the relay or new electronic control box. Here we go for the other type of failure. Solenoid valve is not working when we start the engine. Pull up the valve rod to top by hand after switch the key to power on position. If valve rod could keep it up, it means problem come from pulling coil or related wire. In such case, we need to check the working condition of 30 and pierce fuse here and the K9 relay which control the pulling coil. Then we check the number 12 wire line which connecting control box to solenoid valve. Last but not least, I would like to say the important basic condition for all electronic items is assurance of negative pole connected properly. If necessary, we can connect black wire to machine frame, making sure lies in good condition. Alright, that's all for today. If you enjoyed this video, 
please give me a thumbs up and leave your comments below. Tell your friends and subscribe to my channel. More videos will be coming up. This is Johnny. See you guys.